<laughs> mm. Kenyon. Good morning. JR was uh, a teammate of yours. Mm -hmm. How should the Cavs handle this? I think they handled it. Uh, I think they suspended him. Um, it didn't escalate into a fist fight, so I think they lucky, happy that part of it. But I think they handled it. Um, Lord knows what Damon said. You know, um, former player, you know, sitting in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Probably said something that got up under JR's skin. Probably. Um, more than likely said something to get up under JR's skin. D describe the JR you came to know. What's he like? What, just uh, a good person, man. He just you know? make bad decisions at times. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of them. But, you know, he's emotional. You know, mm -hmm. um, certain things bother him. Um, and he displayed it again. You know, mm -hmm. just one of them things, man. It It happens in locker rooms, but... Never with assistant coaches. I've never seen it like someone do that to assistant or heard about it, you know. But just one of them things. Like Dame, like I said, he's a former player. So we still feel that we have some kind of clout if right. you've been sure. a former player yep. and don't know how to separate the two, mm -hmm. right. that you're not a player anymore. You know, so I think that's a lot. A lot of it has to do with that. Mm -hmm. You know, because they still look at us as peers and all that, but right. you're not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you're, you're, a former, you're a coach now, you know, so you have to – Conduct yourself as such. Right. Do you, you know? figure it had anything to do with being Jr. being demoted from the starting lineup? Does he that, care to the, the guy that you knew? Did it, would he care that much about that? Yeah, if he's been starting for a while, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think he feel he's earned that starting spot. You know, the whole D Wade thing, him coming in, that the whole thing, and yeah. now again, you know, what I'm saying it's just he's emotional. He's an emotional player. That's what he is, and he displays it at times. You know, where people don't agree with it, but he's human. Make mistakes. I think the Cavs handle it, and we'll see where it goes from here. Mm. Yeah, this started in the, this started when D Wade got there because Jr. is looking at it like, hold on, I've been a starter on three straight NBA Finals teams. We won yep. one, and here's this guy done nothing. He comes in, he automatically into the starting lineup. Yeah. And well, he's he's done, done something. Yeah, but no, 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 no. He hasn't done anything no, for the Cavaliers. No, I got it. What he did in Miami, sure, that stayed. He didn't bring that with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was that was many many years ago. That's not the D Wade that, that Cleveland was getting. Because if it, guess what? If he was still that D Wade, he'd have never left Miami. But that's not the here nor there. But Jr. Over his last three games, shooting four twenty two, he's one of thirteen from the three. Now since the All Star break, he's only played six minutes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's, yeah. So now Rodney Hood is starting to get in his. He, he, he was is. getting his minutes. Yeah. Now he's about to take some more of your minutes because he's yeah. about to move into the starting lineup. Yeah. So maybe Damon Jones broke the news to him. And you know when you were coach and you were a former player, you say maybe you're not handling it like a guy that wasn't a player. Yeah. And you talk, they were like, yeah. bruh, your shot broke. Your shot yeah. ragged. Hey, you, so hey. that's why you ate the starting <laughs> line. Took, took words right out of my mouth. There's yeah, one what, thing Damon yeah. Jones could do. He could shoot it. Yeah. yeah. So he, all I need to know was, it, you know, progressive or, or chunky, you know, camp. Whatever it was, <laughs> it was expensive because it was about $95,000. No, I ain't, throwing those, I, ain't throwing, I ain't throwing no soup. I ain't throwing yeah, no Yeah, and nah, I'm going to go on the town. Oh, I'm going to the bench? All right. Just let me know when y'all ready. Hey, that check going to clear? Yeah, I think he looked at it as it's better than me punching him or slapping him in his face. and Maybe. It escalating into yeah. a fight. So now you got to suspend it for multiple games if that happens. Right. Hmm. You know, so it's, it's hilarious to me you know, <laughs> that you would actually throw soup. Yeah, like they, I've been growing, growing, yeah, growing man. Yeah, yeah, like it's, it's uh, that's. I'm gonna uh, guess, just a guess. LeBron James did not think it was hilarious because yep. I know J Damon Jones very well, and I like Damon Jones a lot. But there's only one man on the planet who loves LeBron James more than this man loves LeBron James, <laughs> and that is Damon Jones. you got to trust me on this. He lives for LeBron, and he lives because of LeBron, because LeBron has taken him everywhere he goes. Mm -hmm. Damon is all, he's called an assistant coach. I don't think he's an assistant coach. He's just with LeBron. Right. He's LeBron's guy. And he makes LeBron comfortable. I don't think he probably helps him with his shot. Or it's just that he likes to have Damon around because mm -hmm. Damon's a good guy and mm -hmm. he's fun to have there when you need him. You right. know, when you need emotional support or just somebody to hang around with, Damon's great at that. Right. So I don't even know he, he's an assistant coach because he's LeBron's assistant coach. <laughs> so I don't know what, what went on behind closed doors about this, but LeBron will not love it that Jr. got to the point where he lost his emotions as they, they run amok on him. We've seen that happen before. And I love that about Jr. because if you can channel that into the right. basketball game, right. it really works. Yeah. But in this case, I don't know what, what would escalate to the point of soup in the face or wherever he threw the soup. You know, that's... But Jr. Um, but here's the thing. Jr. was LeBron's guy. 
And it happens. I remember I was in fourth grade, and I had me and this guy were really <laughs> good friends, Skip. But my homeboy, Frank Shepard, who we went to mm-hmm. the same church, we grew up together. He moved and came to that school. So now my best friend, you not my best friend again. Shepard is my best friend. Mm. That kind of rubbed him the wrong way. You're like, well, what's going on? Yeah. JR thought he was but the But what's the key guy. word in that phrase? You said fourth grade. Yeah, yeah, fourth. Yeah, but you know how you look. You said, <laughs> you you said <laughs> but you say JR was emotional. Fourth. Yeah, yeah but, but look, nah, man, you just got fourth hey, grade going on in the locker yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, right? you know. I, I'm with you, man. Yeah. Nah, it's just one of them things, man. He, he let it get to him, man. And like, I can. I, I can only imagine what was being said when they were eating, and it started probably as a joke. Right. And it escalated quick. You know what I'm saying? He got talking about his game, probably shots not <laughs> falling. You yeah. ain't been here. You ain't this, that, and the other. And I just hope the hey. soup wasn't too hot. Because hey. if you threw a hot, you know, real That's hot soup That's a whole other issue. But you, know, but, you know, Damon had to, you know, had to settle down because at the end of the day, you know, hey, I'm still a man now. Hold on. Yeah, D. Jones, that ain't here. He that ain't, that ain't his company. Not at oh, okay. all. D. Jones he's ain't going to do nothing. I agree. Because if, if he was, you would hear about it. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It wouldn't have just been JR mm-hmm. through soup. Now, but, you but, know what? But well just, said. Touche. Like, just like Matt, that. like. That is correct. It, but he ain't throw Other no, guys. But you know he ain't throw no soup at Posey. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, <laughs> certain guys you know you can do certain things too. Yeah. And you can get away with certain things. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know? speaking so, of getting away with, speaking of unwritten rules. Yeah. How did you feel about what Jordan Clarkson did to Dario Saric at the end of the game? Basketball in the back. It's, it's multi-layered. Um, it's the whole thing that at the end of the game you're up. Have some respect. But stop him. Okay. You had three yeah. quarters, three and a half, three and a half quarters, whatever. How much time was left on the clock? Seconds. You had that much time. You know, so I get it. Yeah. But, hey, and it's, it's – it's like the whole football kneeling thing. Yeah. You know I'm saying if you take that and, and you look at every situation where a guy don't respect that, it's always a skirmish. Yeah. Always. So it's that kind of situation. I look at it as that. It, it, you just show some respect. The kid's a foreigner. Right. It's, it's, I, I, you, he's not from here. So it's, but he's is, been around. I, I brought that up. Said, but he's been yeah. around, but you expect him to know better. Yeah. Right. So, but yeah, no, Clarkson is, he threw the ball at him. Now walk up to him and like, hey, man, no, nah, don't, I'm saying, don't do that, man. You ain't got to throw the ball at him. I mean, there's other ways to address that. What would you have done? Out. I would have walked up on him. Okay. I'm saying he laid the ball up. I would have walked back down the court with him. Okay. And let you him, just told him how much you did not appreciate Yeah, yeah, and a few four-letter words okay. and a few other things. <laughs> and I probably would have called him along the way, but it would just been me and him walking. And I would have told him, all right, do it again, here. Yeah? got a problem. <laughs> so, but, oh, but there's he, ways to handle it. But, but, you, but he for real. That's how he would have handled yeah. it. But, you know, I mean, Clarkson just got there, and, you know, he's like, look, Hit him in the back, get his attention, do a little apologize. I mean, Embiid knew it. Yeah. He knew what was going to happen because yeah. remember, Chris Paul laid it up same on Dame thing. Lillard. Same and thing. Dame Lillard got Dame, Yeah, same situation. So, see, Dame walked up on and told yeah. y'all, that ain't cool, bro. Like, I'm right. saying? Like, so there's ways you can handle it. But, like, he's trying to earn his stripes in Cleveland, let his guys he, know, and the people you know, in Cleveland I think, that, he, I think he that I care. Right. I care. I'm not the guys y'all got rid of. I care. Right. You know, I so think it, he earned one stripe, maybe, yeah. in the locker room. Uh, uh, it's, game was over. Don't yeah. to do something about it before then. You know, they, they coming on strong. Y'all making a comeback here. You're the yellow guys making a comeback. They, they ain't get, never they, left. They, they, get, they get the comeback. They win. I, I've been holding down for a while. <laughs> but you ain't see, they, they won't walk up on you because your, your, your uh, uh, reputation oh, yeah, precedes nah, you. Yeah, they, yeah, but yeah, uh, most of them, you know, like, hey. Oh, yeah, no, nah, they got a reputation. Being <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> mm. Y'all ain't going to wallow. Y'all ain't going to wallow. Definitely got a reputation of being soft, man. Mm. But, it so happens. Just a few seconds earlier, one Ben Simmons had dunk uncontested j- d- before the yeah. next possession happened, and nobody said a word about that because he was just uncontested. It, just still was a clo- it. it was still was a close game. No, it yes, it, it was, was out. It was, it was a ten what? point game by then. No, 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 no. That was early in the game. That was early in the game. That was early in the game. Skip, you know it. Uh-uh. Oh, you no, tried- no, I'm talking about the one. There was one with 20 seconds oh, left. Ben Simmons just dunked. All right, they closed the game. Okay. But the next play, all right, the game well, was over now. Ain't nobody chasing him down. Ain't nobody playing now. Now mm-hmm. you go do that, and now you got this problem. But it didn't escalate, but like I said, he's just trying to hmm. – maybe man got that shiner. Uh, he, yeah, you know, he, agi- somebody agitated. Yeah, he got a, yeah, he got, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he got a good one. So okay, like, so how would you feel if you were LeBron James' teammate and that little skirmish happened and the final buzzer goes off – and you're ready just to take it to the locker room, and you look around, and he's hugging all the 76ers like they're long-lost brothers. I, I'm not in the hugging after losses in games, mm-hmm. no way. Win or lose, I'm not in all the friendly stuff. Mm. That, that's bothered me for a while. Uh, it just didn't start you. with me. I thank don't, you. 
I, I don't get it. Like, if you've played for the coach, you go show respect before the game. Nope. That's didn't it. happen. You know I'm saying that's the extent yeah. of it for me. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm not going around down the bench hugging each and but every you, guy. But you're old school, though, Kenny. Got- I just, I, I, I'm, I'm about winning and losing, man. Yeah. Like, you can be my friend. We can talk after the game. Right. Like, when we, after we change, we sure. calm down, whatever happens, I can see you then. Right. But all this, man, like, I, like, I made the two straight finals, right? right. Everybody else out there shaking hands. I'm in the locker room, man. Thank you. Like, I don't do that. Like, it's, maybe it's bad sportsmanship, call it what, sore loser, whatever you want to classify <laughs> it as. I'm not with all that. All that that hugging, yeah. we uh, no. Nah, Neither man. is Shannon, except when Shannon. it comes to LeBron. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I just don't get it, man. I mean, Everybody I mean, is I mean, laughing. Definitely not with the uh, tweeting to them after the game. Yeah. Not no. at all. I mean, None if of that, I knew man. the if I knew the guys, I ain't just you know guys I didn't know. I mean guys that I normally worked out with or maybe have played like the, with. I'll even then, yeah. not but, even then. But as I got, like, we work out together. I know you. We cool. Like I can, I got your number. We can talk after the <laughs> fact, man. Like, yeah, Mark. I'm so listen. Hey, man. Call it what you want. Them. I'm not into everybody get a trophy thing, man. It's just, I'm not into that, man. I'm into winning and losing, and I take it personal. Shannon's into moral victories these exactly. days. No, I ain't into moral victories. Yeah, I hope not. Shannon. No, 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 no. I'm as, as competitive as you they, are they and was. Yeah. Listen, listen, I'm, I'm, still, I'm a sore loser. I used yeah, to, my okay. brother used to beat me, and I throw the ball in the woods. Yeah, see, I'm with you. Let's see, I'm that kind of guy. Hey, my grandmother yeah. would tell me, go back out there and get that ball before I cut you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, no, nah, it was some bad hats. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.